All right. No, I get dark. Burn. So for five through eight, we're going to use the diagram at the right, right there, to answer the questions. We don't need to explain them. So for number five, is angle D E F congruent? To F E G. Yes. If you had to explain it, you would say why. They're both 45. Both 45. Six is angle D E G congruent to angle H E G. Yes. Because this is 90, and those two together form a 90. Hey, man. Seven. Our angle D, E, F, and F, E, H adjacent. Why is it yes? They share a side, and they share a vertex. They're right next to each other. What? Is this page 29? Yes. yes. Oh, Number eight, our angle G, E, D, and D, E, F yeah. adjacent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are they next to each other? No. No, one's inside the other. What? Because <laughs> it's angle G, E, D is right there. Mm -hmm. And D E F is there. One's inside the other. They're not next to each other. Okay, number nine. Name the vertex. So we would just put E, just the point, comma. Name the sides. So it would be ray E D, comma, ray E F. Remember, you got to put the starting point, then the letter. And then we're just going to estimate the measure. Huh? 26. 26 wouldn't be bad. I would say anything around 30 would be good. Yep, 26 would be fine. So for number 10, the vertex is M, the side is MN, ray MN, so you put the ray symbol above it, and ray ML are the two sides. 100, it's over 90, right? This would be a 90, so anything around 100, 110 would be a good guess. Okay, I'll let you finish 11, 12, and now when you get to these three, there's not much left. Write two names for the angle. Angle A and angle EAU would work, or angle UAE. Just make sure you do two names. And then the last three are simple too, you just got to find the measure. So, 